Hey y'all, what is up? I wanted to just come and talk to you guys about something that's really <clears throat> gotten out of hand. Something I'm hearing a lot about. I know someone personally that's going through this struggle and it's absolutely freaking ridiculous. What am I talking about? I am talking about well, we're going to talk about the job market and ageism. It is ridiculous, y'all. People are, first of all, people are getting laid off in droves right now. I know that people can say, like, don't take what you see in the media and just inflate it. But the truth of the matter is, is that we are having, a lot of people are suffer, suffering from layoffs and mass numbers and there is no resolve or or anything to really be said about where are these people going to go next. Like, <laughs> we hear the numbers and think, oh, that's a number. Sometimes it's like, oh, well, if they just said only 200 people. Well, only 200 people now have to figure out where their next source of income is coming from quickly. Um, and a lot of times, yeah, you get severance, but that severance typically only covers a few months. And I mean, like less than six months for sure. Uh, you'll be glad if you get two months. Um, sometimes you'd be glad if you get anything at all, because I don't think a severance package is guaranteed or required in any of those situations. So these people are losing their jobs. A lot of times they're, um, most of the time, these people have do not see it coming. So they're not preparing or setting. And then people say, oh, you set aside money or whatever. But we have the other thing layered on top of that is that things are getting crazy expensive. Um, interest rates on everything you want, you need to loan or you need to borrow on is expensive. The savings rate, extremely low. Um, the stock market is not guaranteed. Um, and then you have the other layer of ageism. So when you become a particular age, there's a few factors that come into play. One of the factors is, is that you are just physically more challenged to be able to do some of the more entry-level jobs, like any type of factory work or labor jobs. Um, even some retail jobs where you got to stand on your feet all day. If you've been, or if you've been used to a desk type of job, just jumping into eight to 10 hours standing on your feet at a real retail position is highly, not unlikely, but it's, it's more than likely going to come with a lot of challenges if you're even able to find yourself to be able to do it. Um, quick story. I worked at Amazon for about, almost a month and I would say almost a month because like two weeks of it was training a week of it was doing a short shift here a longer shift here but one day they wanted me to do the full package of my contractual agreement which was like it was weird because it was like a split shift but I pretty much ended up working like 12 to 14 hours that day I know that's excessive but let me tell you something that let me know that I was not, and I think I was like only about 40 or 41. So it's not really that much older. But you all, I wanted to cry. I was in so much pain. And I mean, not just my feet hurt, my legs hurt. No, my entire body was on fire. And I, I, I promise you, I would have crawled out of there on my hands and feet if I thought that people wouldn't stop me and slow me down. I was just like, I just need to get to my car as soon as possible. So there's that. There's factory jobs. There's, there's, there's all these jobs. There are also many new jobs. Okay, a lot of these jobs are hospitality jobs. A lot of these jobs I'm hearing are governmental jobs, which require people to have certain degrees. And even with that, you guys, these places are, there's a guy that I follow on YouTube and he talks about how a lot of these places, they look at your resume and they see the length of time you've worked certain places or how long ago you posted that you had a, that you received your degree from somewhere and they immediately know how old you are. Okay. So without even seeing you or meeting you, they're, it'll be like, 
No, we really don't really want that person. And I don't understand the reasons why I have some assumptions of assumptions, of course. Um, I think that they feel like younger people are easier to train. Um, I feel like that means we're younger people are easier to be manipulated and not to catch on to the BS and are less likely to speak out which nowadays I don't think that's so much true. I think our younger people will give a lot of these people at these jobs a run for their money. Um, and I think that's what they're finding. That's why they have a high turnover. They're thinking that the younger people are going to put up with a bunch of crap and the younger people are way less likely to put up with the things that people my age and older put up with on jobs. And so you have these employers looking at stuff like that. And they know a lot of times if you come with a lot of experience, you are going to expect certain things. You're going to more likely come expecting a higher salary. Um, you are not going to tolerate, like I said, once again, you're not going to tolerate any nonsense or mess. You know your rights. You know how to move through corporate America. And you are probably going to be more of a, what they're going to consider a headache because you're not just going to go along to get along in most cases. And so uh, these employers, I feel like those are the reasons why they're not choosing older applicants. Um, and so you got people, I have a friend of mine, and I'll say friend because I just, I don't want to give out too much information about this person, but they got laid off from a job that they were at for 10 years, over 10 years, actually. They were in a supervisory position. And so they managed a bunch of people there. And they had a few layoffs, not not many. And they even said that some of the layoffs or some of the people were people that were definitely not really showing up and doing their job. So it was kind of like, uh, okay, a couple people got, quote, laid off, but no biggie. Well, when when they got laid off, they were given the severance package, but I think it the severage package only covered their income maybe for about like three months. And then after that, they were out of luck. And, and and then you have these things where people make assumptions like, oh, well, you get unemployment and that should help you through the process. There's all these public programs that people can take advantage of. Yes, but no. Let me explain why. So... They went to unemployment. Some people don't know, when you go to unemployment, they look at your last source of income, your last paycheck from your job, and they determine whether or not you are in need of an unemployment check at that time. And then sometimes too, they'll also meter what you receive depending on what you also have as far as income coming in from another source. Okay, that's understandable. But, but it's not just an instant replacement for your income. I mean, I think this person, a uh, rough estimate, I would say they probably had about $3,500 to $4,000 a month of income coming in their house. Well, unemployment was giving them less than $400 a week. That's not good. That's not going to cover it. That's not even close to their, their income. And so before you know it, and they're, I mean, they're hitting the pavement, looking for jobs, looking for jobs, looking for jobs, sending resume, 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 applications, interviews, and dead silence. Okay. Dead silence. So it's like, what do you do? What do you do with that? And honestly, what ended up happening is they end up getting evicted from their apartment and they're just, they're getting evicted from their prop their apartment and still have no job. What are what are people like that supposed to do? Like they're just to be like, okay, so now now that I no longer have a job, I'm older. I guess now the next step is obviously homelessness. I I, I feel like I'm saying it. It sounds extreme, but I feel like we're not really understanding the progression of things and how this is actually a. A, an issue for a lot of people. A lot of people are experiencing this. I just happen to know firsthand what this person was dealing with. I've been hearing it on TikTok, YouTube videos. I've been hearing it a lot. But I now know someone's actual firsthand uh, information on how things played out step by step, the, prog the actual progression of things. 
and I'm just like, what are, what are people supposed to do? And I know we got, like right now, I'm filming this on election day. I'm not going to post it until later. But it doesn't matter who gets into office, you guys. Because there's things at lower, at, as far as the presidential uh, election, that it doesn't matter that much. Because there's, first of all, it's been proven for many, many, this problem didn't just start just recently <laughs> this is this has been happening this type of thing has been happening for many 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 decades so that means many 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 presidents no matter if there was a, a republican or a democrat in the office this has been a problem for many many decades where people first the middle class people are not being helped they are being put in situations and they i, I feel like the middle class people are being pimped on every side We've been pimped by employers. We've been pimped by the media. We've been pimped by our uh, elect people we've elected to put into office. We're being pimped in every way. And then on top of it, I feel like we're being pimped out, completely pimped out with consumerism. Like it's constant. I almost can't stand holidays because I feel like they're so not necessary. And I know people do not agree with me on that, but I really feel like they're not necessary. Even though I celebrate them and I go full all in with my family because I'm like, I love my family. They're about it. So I'm gonna be about it because I just love my family. But at the same time, like you all, can we not do holidays? Like, honestly, I think people think I'll be so mean and evil when I say that, but I'm like, can we honestly just not do holidays? It, we're just getting pimped. Like you think about it. The Christmas holiday, it happens, just happens to happen at the end of the year, which is the end of a fiscal cycle for businesses. What's not, I mean, what's the better thing for that? It's to get people all stirred and rammed up to spend, 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 spend on food, spend on activities, spend on uh, clothing items, this and that, toys, just all this extra spending, spend, 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 so that we can make our numbers look good by the end of the year perfect little scheme okay um and so I, I just i'm getting to the point where i'm just so annoyed just so annoyed with how things are and how i feel like sorry for the lack of better terms but how we're being pimped from every direction and i can't stand how they get us all to be so focused on uh on things like political party religion uh race gender like all that stuff, sexuality like all this stuff all this stuff is like trash because at the end of the day if you don't have a job and you can't feed yourself you can't put a roof over your head tr sorry i am certain that that's gonna be way more concerning and pressing to you than what race you are what religion you belong to what political party you're affiliated with um <laughs> and you probably ain't gonna be worried about getting no uh, doing boom boom with nobody so your sexuality ain't probably gonna uh, matter to you that much either because you're gonna be broke and you're gonna be very sad and very depressed so y'all i just i just want to make it's just such a level of frustration that i'm trying not to get too emotional about it but it's like what the what are we supposed to be doing like what is the solution and I'm, my thing is whoever gets into office if i'm not seeing checks ran to the middle class on a regular basis and i mean not not just pumping out money and giving away like we did with COVID and all that stuff i'm not talking about like that i'm talking about tax breaks tax credits uh laws um uh, that actually help people transition out of jobs into new jobs just like something something that's actually gonna help everybody the majority of the population which is middle class and uh the poor quote poor i feel like we all the poor basically but i want to see regular stuff happening i want to see real things happen otherwise psh, i ain't worried about what you're talking about because if you ain't really helping the people like me and people are surrounding me with real issues and real problems real solutions i'm literally over it i'm so over but anyway okay i'm starting to rant so anyway y'all i just want to make that video about what are people are supposed to do who are older over the age of 40 and cannot and find themselves unemployed with bills and are suffering from ageism when it comes to the job market 
Anyway, y'all, that's all for me. You all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye for now. I gotta show you how I love you like I'm never ever somebody. I'll give you things you didn't even know you wanted. Don't tell me that it's not enough. My time is up. You're over us. Cause I think I might do anything for you. If you just let me.